Yo guys, in today's video, we're gonna play this OP Mega Knight Wallbreakers deck on the Royal Tournament in Clash Royale. So now, we're currently 6 wins and 3 loss. I really goof up on the tournament, but it's totally fine. Now anyways, this is currently one of the best Mega Knight deck. I found this on the Royal API, and this deck have over 70% win rate. It's amazing. Now anyways, we're gonna go Prince, we'll go Fisherman. So that kinda sucks. Um, I would try to zap it though. Now, let's go. It killed it. Completely. Just like that. Okay. Now, he will go Goblin Gang. Um, it was, it actually stopped everything. Now, bad it right here. He would most likely have Road Giant. Because I'm in common. If it's Fisherman, then it's gonna be Road Giant. There's nothing in between. Okay. Now, I would let the Zapis on the right, left lane connect. It doesn't even matter to be honest. Time to go bats. Boom. Then he would probably go fisherman with what is giant skeleton. Okay. Interesting. Um now if I were him, he would probably Whoa! Um what Goblin Gang? Boom. Okay. Now the giant skeleton is basically dead, so there's no worries. Okay. Now he has raw giant, it's obvious at this point. So we need to save our prince for it, of course, or our archer queen. I will go bandit. He would probably go fisherman. Okay. Now in this case, um, I would probably go queen. But the problem is, whoa, he has hawks. Okay. Now maybe he has mother witch too. Now Megan will kill the hawks. Absolutely amazing. Then he would go fisherman for the thing. I already knew it. So yeah. And there's no counterplay for me. Time to go wall breakers. He would go goblin gang for this. Okay, Zapis. However, both of the wall breakers connect. So, Prince also connect though. Good game. That right tower is dead. Just like that. Okay. Now, in this case, um, he gave up. He gave up just like that. Lol. You're so noob, by the way. Okay. Now, I would just activate ability. Rush. I don't care. Boom. And yeah, it's good game. We successfully made a player to rage quit under 2 minutes with this crazy deck. Okay. Now, Wallbreakers, Prince, then Bandit, hit his mom, the Bomber, Wallbreaker, Suicide onto his King Tower for our pleasure. I appreciate it. Now, anyways, first game GG. This is rather easy, okay? Now, let's get this worthless 15 gems because, after all, they're trash. Now, jumping to our next game against this person, um, definitely gonna split Wallbreakers. This is, this is good play. Now he would go, okay, he has mortar, time to go the Mega Knight. I'm not gonna hesitate at this point, because I don't care. Now, um, freak, okay, um, I will go arrow that, okay, now, okay, Mega Knight will kill the miner. We expect to him have uh, another response, which, which is the daddy miner, okay. Now... I will not go Bandit actually because he can just activate the ability, so I'm gonna go Archer Queen. Now this should be more than enough to kill that. I don't know why you activate the bomb, it's the most pointless thing in human history. Now, time to activate the ability. What guards? It gone into nothing. Actually nothing. And also, why do you play the lock? It's completely worthless play. Now, what archers, huh? Okay, um, Prince. Okay, that's actually well played. The archers actually completely stop the bandit for a neutral elixir trade. Now, the prince absolutely destroyed his mortar. Now, in this case, I would probably go queen again on the middle. Or maybe go something. Um, yeah, let's go queen. Okay. Now, um, it's basically repeating the same process until double elixir. Now, to be honest, I would just ignore the miner. They provide zero scariness and zero threat for my life. So just ignore it. It's better than actually respawn because there's no need to. They're dealing. They basically heal my tower. Now time to go bandit. Um, he would go the D miner. Okay, he will go miner. Time to go wall breakers. He will go walk. Then yeah. Okay. Um, he will go motor again. Time to go prince. Then I suppose Archer Queen. Don't know to be honest what to do. Now he would go Archer on the middle. So gonna arrow that. Boom boom boom. Oh the guards are also dead. 
Yes. Now bend it right here. Um, what bats? Um, this. Then what minor? Um, wall backers will connect. Just kidding. I'm actually lying. Now print right here. Um, okay. I don't know. Um, freak. Um, he would go guards. Just watch. Wow, I miss it. How amazing. Okay, he would force you go mortar. Ar I'm Archer Queen. Okay, um, then... Let's see for a second. I would maybe not activate my ability yet. Whoa, Ben connect though. There's a big W right there. Now, activate the ability. Okay. Oh, that Archer Queen though. That Archer Queen though. One shot. Okay, just one shot. Uh, Mega Knight. Then... Okay. He would go guards. Time to arrow. Bro, I missed the arrow twice in a row. That's how stupid I am actually in my life. Now, bandit. Um, zap. Okay, what did the bandit go to the opposite lane? What? Um, prince. Damn, oh no. The opposite lane. The opposite lane. It threatens my life. It threatens my life. Okay, I need to activate the ability or else I'm dead. Need to kill the mortar as soon as possible. Arrow your mom. Okay. Okay, we're up damage. Not too bad. Time to go suicide bombers. Um, bandit. Zap. Okay. Um, guards kill my suicide bomber. Um, bats. Okay. So far, we're up 500 damage. That's not too bad. Um, he would go something. Okay. Um, time to go Archer Queen. Then it will kill the Daddy Miner. Let's go. Um, should I activate the ability? I will. Boom. Then Wallbreakers. Um, Bandit. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Now, in this case, he will go Poison Cycle. Time to go make, make a big push. Mega Knight. Then he would go Mortar, so I'm gonna go Prince. Um, okay, Daddy Miner. Um, damn. Guards. OMG! This time I actually predicted. I don't expect that to happen. Yeah, let's go. It's good game. Once you predict that thing, it's good game. That's how it works against these dumb Cycle decks. Um, time to go Mega Knight. Bro, uh, Miner, I mean Prince. Shut, should have activated the ability. Um, Zap, I want to reset the bomb. Then Bandit, Shut, should have got arrows to behind us. Now, arrows are here. Never mind, it's too late. Okay, that mortar just got destroyed in 10 seconds. I mean, 1 second. Now, yeah, good game. Wallbreakers connect, Bandit, get your mom, and there we go. GG. So, now, anyways, this is a rather easy matchup because. You just need one good prediction, and it's GG. Now, let's get this useless chest key, and let's jump to our last match of the video right here against this person. Okay, now, speed wall breakers, boom. Then, he will go ice spirit, so he will go cannon. Most likely, he will actually have 2.6 hawk, or something associated with that jerk. Now, he would go, okay, thanks, arrow value. Thanks. Boom, boom, boom. Now, Ben connect. Not quite. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna go Prince. Let's see what he will do for this. Um, okay. Yep. Why do you go Prince? Why do you go Hawk for a Prince? That's the most pointless thing in my life. You should have go for it on the opposite lane, you dumbass. Um, time to go Bats. Um, what? He has Cyclobactus Firecracker. How does it? How does him? Does it so fast? Okay, however, the Mega Knight will connect, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, now in this case, um, let's see what he would do. He would probably go Hawk on the opposite lane with the Firecracker. Um, okay, I will just ignore the Firecracker then. Time to go Bandit. Um, also maybe a little bit of a Prince right here, kill the Hawk. Now the Hawk will do some big damage. There's no way I can kill it. Then, okay, um, he would go Goblins. Damn, that's a bad game. Okay, definitely going to zap that. Okay, now the prince will get at least zero shot because he did not on time. And a waste of three elixir for zero reason. Oh, damn. I'm so goddamn smart after all, huh? Now, wall breakers. Um, at least this is doing something good. Negative one elixir trade and kill the knight. So, yeah. It may be not so bad after all. Time to go Mega Knight. The Hawk will get two shots because of the Ice Spirit. Okay. Um, oh, one shot only. Okay, amazing. 
Now, um, bats, bandit. Okay, um, whoa, um, let's go. Um, I will activate the king tower. I don't even care. That's probably the biggest mistake of, of my life. Just kidding, it's the biggest W of my life. Time to go queen on the pocket. Activate the ability. Boom. Let's go. Um, bats. Okay, um, bandit. OMG. What firecracker? Huh? Zap bat? Um, yeah, tree crown. I don't even need the bandit. The prince solos everything. That's how it works. Never underestimate the power of Mega Knight and Prince combo. It doesn't matter what deck I'm bringing, as long as this duo, Mega Knight and Prince on one deck, there's no way I can lose. At least, for noobs. Thanks for watching, see you, bye.